you are the pillar dau smala master jesus you are the pillar dau smala you are the pillar dau smala you are the pillar dau you are the pillar dau smala master Jesus, you are the pillar thou. Smala, Master Jesus, you are the pillar thou. Smala, Master Jesus, you are the pillar thou. Smala, Master Jesus, you are the pillar thou. Smala. Let's ride and worship God. Let's worship the King of Kings. Let's worship the Lord of Lords. Let's worship our Master. Let's worship our King. Let's worship our Redeemer. Let's worship our Savior. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. We adore your holy name, Lord. For the rising and the falling of the sun, the name of the Lord shall be praised. Give him praise this morning. Give him praise this morning. Worship and adore him. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration, O God. Blessed be the name, O Lord. In Jesus mighty name we worship in Jesus mighty name we worship Amen. there is always a day in a man's life as I shared with our people this morning according to Exodus chapter 3 that day, Moses had an encounter with God. And that encounter launched him into his destiny. So today is your own day of your victory. That thing in your life that you have been struggling with. That has been struggling with you. Today, you will obtain your victory. Amen. That encounter that Moses had. Make cause the children of Israelites. To come out from bondage to victory. Today, you will obtain your victory. In the name of Jesus. Before we continue, let's be seated for a few minutes. I want to appreciate some people because they may not know why I'm appreciating them. There is no man of God quote me. Because some men of God, women of God, we boast at times. I think, think that we are the one doing the work alone. There is no man of God that succeed without God and people working with him. I'm telling you, I don't care how your anointing is. If your anointing is the whole Australia, if God is not with you and people are not helping you, there's no way you can fulfill. So I want to appreciate all the men and the women that God has been using with us in this church. Especially during this lockdown, lock-in, lock Praise the Lord. 
apart from my wife, Sister Miriam, Sister Eunice, Sister Molly, Sister Blessing, Brother Ben, Sister Nimi, all these people, they stood by me and by the work of God. Without them, all this little resort that we are having, we can't. So my sisters, my brother, we have only two men left. Only two. <laughs> Praise God. God Almighty will reward you. But I want to tell you something. Don't be weary. Don't be weary. Don't be tired. Don't relent on your dedication, your commitment to God, especially such a time as this. Because this thing called coronavirus is the agenda of the devil from hell against the world and against the church of Christ. Praise God. Because I can imagine some Christians, some believers, their spiritual life now. I'm telling you, it takes the grace of God. That's why I want, to, I want to advise all the pastors watching me or that we watch. Please keep your members on. Follow them up, call them, send messages, organize programs online. Because devil is at work against the church, especially in Western world. Western world that we are even believing God for revival. We are believing God for revival. But look at what coronavirus has done. Our victory is sure. Our victory is sure. But at the same time, you and I have responsibility. And that is why we are going to pray. But before we pray, we are going to address that thing called coronavirus. It's the works of the devil. Praise God. I don't want to talk about Africa. But you can see. But most especially in Western world, so many nations, so many states are on lockdown. Affecting people spiritually, affecting people physically, affecting people morally. But that devil is a liar. That devil called coronavirus is a liar. That devil called coronavirus is a liar in Australia. That devil called coronavirus is a liar in Melbourne. In the name of Jesus. James chapter 4 verse 7. Is the devil that we need to resist. Through coronavirus. James chapter 4 verse 7. He said, therefore submit to God. Receive the devil. And it will what? He will flee. Until the end come to this coronavirus. We will not stop praying. Praise God. Shall we rise and pray? The Bible told us that we should receive the devil. And it will what? He will flee from us. You coronavirus that is causing lockdown every time in Australia, in Victoria, all over the world, we resist you. We resist you. All your agenda to destroy, to kill, to steal, we resist in the name of Jesus. We resist in the name of Jesus. We resist all your agenda. You coronavirus from air. We resist you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, submit yourself to God and receive the devil and it will flee. We command you in the name of Jesus. Flee. Flee. We command you. We resist you. We reject you 
In the name of Jesus, all your tricks, all your plans, all your hidden agenda, we resist it in the name of Jesus. We return you back to where you are coming from. We return you back to sender. In the name of Jesus, Masekata Karibo Kushanda, you coronavirus from hell, we resist in the name of Jesus. The wrath of God is against you. The wrath of God is against you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Before we pray for believers that are lukewarm, we are going to pray for the government that God should give them wisdom. The government needs wisdom to manage it. I tell you. We are going to pray for wisdom for our premier. All the people controlling this coronavirus. The law, all our leaders, our premier, our president, oh God, Lord, give them wisdom to be able to manage this season very well. We pray for wisdom from above. In the name of Jesus, give them wisdom that will not continue to affect your cheap people. That will not continue to depress your people. That will not continue to make people to be in sorrow. Father, we pray for wisdom. Oh, lasting, last, give them a lasting solution. Wisdom that will bring lasting solution to this coronavirus. For man, to be able to manage it. To be able to control everything. So that everything will be flowing the right way. We pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now we are going to pray for believers. That has gone back to the world. That have engaged in pornography. That have engaged in all manner of things on internet that are engaged in drunkenness, that are engaged in immorality, all manner of things. Because the fire is no more there. When the fire is gone, every other thing will come in. And that's why the Bible says, iron sharpened iron. All our brothers and our sisters that are compromised, even some, they are, they are compromised because of love of money. So many things have taken I've, made, I've occupied a lot of believers in so many ways. We are going to pray that, Father, bring them back. Let them realize like the prodigal son. Where they are falling, oh God. Father, please wake them up. Holy Spirit, wake them up. Visit that brother, visit that sister. That is using coronavirus as an excuse for his or her lukewarmness. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you are God. You will visit them. You will cook in their motor bodies again. You will open their eyes again. You will lead them again. You will lead them again. They will pick up their Bible again. They will continue to pray again. They will continue to fast again. They will continue to be diligent in the service of God again. In the name of Jesus. Wake them up, oh God. Wake them up, oh God. Wake them up, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Revive them. Revive them. All our brother and sister. All our brother and sister. Their spiritual life is already in zero. Father, wake them up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, you will pray. Now, Father, reach me today. Reach me today. Send your word to my life. Your word that will liberate me. The program is hours of liberty. Your word that will set me free, that will open my eyes. Your word that will give me direction. Send it to me this morning. Pray, 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 pray. Makete pakashantala. Bless us this morning. Let everybody not remain the same. Let your world open me now to a new level. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, 
we pray. Abba Father, we thank you once again. Thank you for the coronavirus. It's already resisted. Thank you for giving all our leaders wisdom to be able to manage the country. Thank you for reviving all lukewarm Christian believers. Thank you for reviving them. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. This morning, oh God, Father, speak to us. Think through my mind. Lord, I release myself unto you this morning. Use me as an instrument to minister to your children. Let everybody that will be under the sound of my voice this morning receive their victory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time. So this morning, the Holy Spirit will do what he wants to do. I want to encourage you that please pray when the time's come to pray. And please focus while you are in your room. Don't doze off for the next one hour. Please focus! The face of God, I've been fasting, praying to God, even with some of our members since last since on the first for God to do what he wants to do. Because we are not here to play. I'm not in Australia to play. Praise God. When you know your assignment, you don't joke with it. Today, God will reach you. I'll be sharing some deep things. I had some encounter with God within the week. Never experienced that before. But as we continue, I will share with us. Praise God. Victory. That's what we want to examine this morning. Victory. Let's open our Bible to 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 11. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 11. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, the victory, and the majesty for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord. You are exalted as head of all, as head over all. Oh. Today, that problem, in your, those problems in your life, God will be the head of all. And he will give you victory in the name of Jesus. Our God is a God of victory. And one of the names of our God is the Lord of hosts. Means the one in battle. And the Lord of hosts, he has never lost any battle. He's always victorious. I want you to know that victory is something that we all desire. If you desire victory, shout hallelujah. 
Your hallelujah is very shallow. If you desire victory from the Lord this morning, shout hallelujah. So victory is something that we all desire. Whether it is in our spiritual life, physical life, family life, or professional lives. In all those areas that I mentioned, people need victory. For example, we mentioned about what coronavirus has caused, caused some people. Some believers, they can't pray again. They can't fast again. They can't read the word of, again, the word of God again. They can't worship God again. Such person needs victory in his what? In his spiritual life. Praise the Lord. For a businessman, his business or a career person, that his business is not going well, things is not doing well, no contract, no business. Such person needs victory. He needs our profession. But I want to tell you, whether spirit, spiritual, physical, on your family, on your career, on your profession, that you need victory. God will give it to you this morning. I said, God will give it to you this morning. The good news is, the good news is, because we are followers of Christ, victory is already ours. Are you excited to hear that? Because you are a follower of Christ, because you have accepted Jesus Christ, as your Lord and your personal Savior, victory is already yours automatically. Shout hallelujah. How do I know that? In 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Look at what the Bible told us. For whatever is born of God, overcomes the world. Say amen. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. Overcomes the world. Our faith. So as long as you are a believer, as long as you are born again, you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. You are already a victor. Hallelujah. You are already a victor. For you identify with Christ alone has made you victorious. Shout hallelujah. And from today, I want you to begin to walk in that consciousness. You are not a loser. You have been bought with a price. Because the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are a carrier of God's power. I prophesy to you, the last defeat that you had will be the last one forever. I said the last defeat that you had will be the last one forever. In the name of Jesus, no more defeat. So victory is already ours. But there's something I want you to, understand, to know. That life is a battlefield. Life is not a fun fear. Life is a battlefield. Go and ask all the business gurus that you desire to be like. All the entrepreneurs that you desire to be like. All the great men and women of God that you desire to be like. They will tell you that life is a bad fit. It's not a fun fear. Any man or any woman you see at, you, you, you see at the top they fought together. Hallelujah. 
Any man, any woman that you see at the top, they fought to get there. I go and ask David. David had to kill Goliath to get to the throne. David had to kill Goliath to become who he is. So let me tell you, life is a battlefield. It's not a fun fear. That is why you have to be serious with your life because you have no true life to live. And let me tell you also, you have an opponent. You have an opponent, the devil. The Bible says that the devil is what? He's a roaring lion. Roaming about looking for who to devour. I prophesy, you will not be his victim. I say you will not be his victim. So for you to succeed in life, you must have a fighting spirit. Somebody say fighting spirit. Like me, where I am today, I fought to adapt to this place. To get to where I am. And the fight continue until I give the ghost. Give up the ghost. Because life is what? It's a battle. Especially if you desire to be great. If you desire to be great, unless you, are not unless you don't desire to be great. If you desire to succeed, to be great, to, to live a legacy, to have a landmark on earth, you must be a fighter. Nobody get to the top cheaply. Nobody get to the top cheaply. It take a fighting spirit. It take a violent man, a violent woman to reach the top. And that's why the Bible says, since the day of the John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered a violence and the violence take it by force. If you don't take your destiny from your position by force, the devil he will defeat you. He will useless your life. But you will not be useless. You will not be defeated. In the name of Jesus. So you must have a fighting spirit and also ready to wrestle against your opponent always. You must have a fighting spirit and also ready to wrestle with your opponents always. In the dream, in the physical, in business, in family, in your head. You're ready to wrestle because he will challenge you. So you don't have to do smash man. What did they call smash man in Australia? Which English can we use? I try to look for. Praise the Lord. You, you need to be hijacked. You need to be hijacked. Because if you are not hijacked, devil will play you like a football. You will talk with your destiny. So you must be a wrestler. I believe most of all we used to watch wrestling. You see when they are going to the ring, they are ready to destroy their opponents because they want victory. So we are in a world where there is a lot of opposition. Opposition in the family, Opposition at work. Opposition in the streets. Even while you are driving, there's opposition. Somebody just hates you. For no, for no reason. Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 10. To 13. You must ready to wrestle. Ephesians chapter 6. 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He didn't say he should be weak. 
Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. You can see he has his wise. He's always at work every day. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, that is them, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. That's the thing. Therefore, for you to obtain your victory, take up the whole armor of God. I will show you some of those armors. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. There's always evil day. Kaposkaya. There's always evil day. There's always a day that devil wants to kill you on the freeway. There's always a day that devil wants to struggle, trample you to death. There's a day that the enemy set a trap for you. So that when you are strong in the Lord, you will be able to withstand that evil day. And having done all to do what? To stand. I prophesy to somebody that is watching me. That evil day that the enemy has prepared for you, cast fire. That thing they plan for you, back to sender. Back to sender. All the evil that the enemy planned for you, back to sender. In the name of Jesus. So you must ready to fight. And that is why you must be strong. For you to be victorious. Listen to this. Before victory, there must be something fighting you. Nobody gets championship without opposition. Hello? In Olympics now, Australians have been taking a lot of gold. But does, gold, does, those, I mean, does those gold come cheaply? There's opposition. So they have to fight in swimming. And make sure that they become number one. So what am I trying to tell you? Before victory, there's something fighting you. It may be the devil, which is our arch, angel, arch enemy. It may be the world. There are so many people that the world is fighting now with the loss of the world. Things of the world. They don't think spiritual again. They think about the world. They talk about the world. Hallelujah. Some people now, they are fighting with the world. They are compromising with the world. They are doing everything with the world. So it may be devil, it may be the world. But the worst one, it can be someone. Hello? There may be someone fighting you somewhere. Maybe from your village, maybe from your street. Even in Australia. Hallelujah. Or the greatest one is yourself. Amen? Yourself can be fighting yourself. And your greatest enemy is yourself. When you are able to conquer yourself, your lust, your evil desire, your evil thoughts, if you are able to conquer yourself, devil is very cheap. The word is easy. Someone that is against you is easy if you can be able to conquer yourself. Because most of us, we are the enemies of ourselves. How are we enemies of ourselves? Galatians chapter 5 told us all those works of flesh. I call them ministry of internal affairs. 
ministry of internal affairs. The works of flesh, lust, pride, arrogance. Name that. But in the name of Jesus, by the power that Jesus Christ has given to us, by the victory that is in the name of Jesus, over yourself, God will give you victory. Because the reason why some of us take wrong decisions in our lives is because of self. I said it, I said in most cases, we are the enemies of ourselves. I mean, we are the enemy of ourselves. But God will deliver you today. Now, quickly, what is victory? What is victory? The word victory means to win a battle, to overcome, to conquer the enemy. You will conquer your enemy today. And also, to stand and not to fall. I come again. Victory means to win a battle. To overcome. To conquer the enemy. To stand and not to fall. That is victory. Today, all your enemies, you will overcome them. From today, that sin that is making you to fall and rise, you will not fall again. God will give you victory over sin. God will give you victory over the works of flesh. God will give you victory over your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Now, what are the steps to victory? Or you can say platforms to victory. What step must I take to gain my victory in the law. Number one, salvation. Somebody say salvation. Somebody say salvation. Means being genuinely born again. If you are not born again, there is no way you can get victory over the devil. There is no way Jesus Christ can give you that authority that I took for him in Eden. It is when you are born again that that authority will be delegated to you to be able to defeat him. So number one is salvation. John 3, 3. John chapter 3, verse 3. What the Bible says? Let the word of God talk to us. Hallelujah. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say unto you, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So for you to obtain your victory, new bets must be in place. Number two, start to obtain victory. Avoid every form of ungodliness. Hello, somebody. Avoid every form of of ungodliness. Anything that is not godly, flee like Joseph. When Potiphar went to destroy the destiny of Joseph with ungodly life, with immorality, with adultery, what did Joseph did? He flee. Some of you say, uh, uh, I'm strong. I can manage it. I can manage that process. Or even some of us will say, okay, it's not really a sin. I'm trying to help myself. Go understand. Hallelujah. Stop it. Stop encouraging yourself in, the, in sin. The Bible did not say we should encourage ourselves in the sin. He said we should encourage ourselves in where? In the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Most Christians these days, what we do, we encourage ourselves in, this, in sin. The heart floor is a little lie. After all, it's a little cheating. After all, God knows that I'm using even the money I'm getting to help people. 
Praise the Lord. Any form of ungodliness, avoid it for you to obtain victory. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18. Second Corinthians chapter 6, 14 to 18. What did the Bible say? Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Let me stop there. I hear so many believers telling me sometimes that their best friend is unbelievers. You don't know who you are. I want to tell you the truth. Whether that person has good moral life, whether that person has good character, as long as that person is unbeliever, don't make him or her your best friend. Why? Because the fear of God is not in him or her. And if care is not taken, you will dance to a tune or his tune very soon. The Bible that the word of God is said to, you can never remove from the word of God. He said, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship? Bring it up. For what fellowship? As righteousness with our lawlessness. And what communion light with darkness? As long as you are a believer, you are a light. And what accord as Christ with Belial? Or what part as a believer with unbeliever? Are you hearing that? And what agreements as the temple of God with idols? For you don't know, for you are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they shall be my people. Continue. 17. Therefore, listen now, for you to obtain your victory. Therefore, come out from among them. Don't do what they are doing again. Repent totally and stop it, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. Verse 18. Then I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Almighty. Have you seen it now? So don't be unequally yoked together with them. Avoid every form of ungodliness. Some of your friends that is unbelievers, they will tell you it doesn't matter now. That's the way they do it in Australia. That's the way they do it. It doesn't matter. It's not really a sin. And before you know it, before because you always spend time with them, you always go out with them, you always go for dinner, you always go for everything with them, before you know it, you begin to compromise. In the name of Jesus, every form of ungodliness, Obtain your victory now. Obtain your victory now. So avoid it. Number three. Refuse to fear or be afraid of your opponents. One of the things that the devil uses against believers is fear. And one thing when the devil first of all comes to you, what he will bring to you is fear. Some of you, you don't even have coronavirus. He's telling you you have it. That's fear. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fear is a torment. That is why 365 times the Bible told us, do what? Fear not. That means for every day, fear not. Because whenever devil wants to destroy you, he will first of all bring the thought of fear. He will tell you you are going to die soon. He will tell you you are going to have an accident too. What are you supposed to do? You decrease it. No! It's not my portion. He comes to me sometimes when I'm doing some things, when I'm driving. Say, now nah, accident will happen. I will just scream. No! In Jesus' name, I cannot have accident. But there are some of us who begin to entertain the thoughts. Some of us begin to entertain the fear before you know it, accident will happen. And that's what happened to Job. Job, 
He said, that thing that I thought, that I've been thinking about, happened to me. He has been thinking one day, all this sweat, all these children, I'm going to lose it. He never rebuked the fear. He never rebuked the devil. He entertained it. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of fear in you, I cast it away. I cast it out. Fear of unknown, fear of future, fear of marriage, fear of your children, fear of your career. Every form of fear in your life, I cast it away. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14. Isaiah 54, verse 14. In righteousness, you shall be established. Say amen. You shall be far from oppression. Say amen. You shall not fear from the terror for he shall not come near you. From today, no more fear. I said from today, no more fear. The Bible says, he shall not come near you. Fear will not know your address. In the name of Jesus. The last key. All the points. All the steps. To obtain victory. Is the force of faith. Somebody say force of faith. Somebody say force of faith. You must have faith. In the word of God. That God has given you victory already. That God has given victory over that sickness. God has given victory over that disease. God has given victory over that delay. God has given victory over that failure. You must have faith. A lot of believers don't have faith in God. So many doubters in the church. That after they pray, they will say, can that prayer work? You have nullified your prayers. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So if you want to live a victorious life, you must have faith in the word of God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 6. Oh, let's, go, let's look at Mark. Mark 9.23. Mark 9.23. Mark 9.23. What did he say? Jesus said to him. Jesus is talking to you. Tell somebody, Jesus is talking to me. Jesus is talking to me now. If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Say, I am a believer. Say, put your hand in your hand. Say, I am a believer. I am not a doubter. I am not a doubter. I am a believer. I believe that I have victory over the challenges of my life. Hebrews chapter 6, 11 verse 6. What did he say? Hebrews 6, 11. Says, Hebrews 11, 6, opposite. Hebrews 11, 6. But, 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 don't forget, but. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Capital H. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You must believe that victory is yours. Some believers will say, Pastor, actually, I like the way you pray. I like the way, but I'm still doubting. How will it work? Jesus Christ told that woman with the issue of blood when she heard about Jesus. The woman thought in her heart. She had a fear before touching him. She said in her heart, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be made old. And the Bible told us when she touched Jesus from the crowd. Let me tell you something. People are going to look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Faith does not know obstacles. Nothing can stop faith. Faith. Faith is always desperate. Faith does not look at any hindrance. Among the crowd, faith finds a way to that woman. Faith penetrated in the crowd and touched the hem of his garments. Shout hallelujah. Nothing can stop faith. When you see a man or a woman operating in faith, 
As I'm talking to you now, you will be healed by faith. You will be delivered by faith. As I'm talking to somebody now, sickness is leaving you. Disease is leaving you. In the name of Jesus, receive it by faith. The Bible says, as she touched, Jesus Christ said, somebody touched me. They asked him, Master, your own is too much. I'm on this crowd. Who touched you? A lot of people is touching you. It's a virtue. A man of God that carry power. When virtue come out of him, he knows. He says, something has left me. And the woman cannot control it. In the name of Jesus, you will not hide your testimony. Again. That testimony will be known in Australia. Will be known all over the world. In the name of Jesus, the woman said, Sir, I am the one. And what did Jesus Christ told said? He said, Your faith has made you old. She obtained a victory. Flow of blood for 12 years. She obtained that victory by what? By faith. Receive your victory by faith now. Receive yours by faith now. In the name of Jesus. So when we start praying, please have faith in God. That today. It's my day, as I told you. Now, what are the weapons of victory? I'll quickly go on that. I want to show you weapons of victory. Number one, the weapons of our victory is the word of God. Revelation of the word of God. You must have a revelation of the word. That is why anytime you want to read your Bible, Father, illuminate my mind. Open my eye to see Rema. To see beyond the logos. Revelation of the word of God. That is number one weapon of our victory. Because the only thing that Satan fears most is what? The word. According to Matthew chapter 1 from verse 11. When he came to tempt our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of time. What did Jesus Christ told him? He said it is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. And the Bible says he flee. The word. You must read the word. That's why God told Joshua. He said, this book, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and night. The word. Revelation of the word. The Bible said, God exalts his word more than himself. The Bible said, the word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. When you use the sword of the word, when you use the arrow of the word, when you face the devil with the word, victory is yours because he fear the word of God. Hallelujah. Number two, capacity, lebran sutel lebra, the revelation of the blood. Somebody said the blood of Jesus. Somebody said the blood of Jesus. Another weapon of our. <laughs> hey, another weapon. Of our victory is the blood. The life of every man is in the blood. Nobody can stand the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. There was one day some demons gathered themselves together. And they came to enter a village. They said they want to suck the blood of the people. And there's a man of God in that palace, in that place. He said, you guys want to suck the blood? He said, that's fine. Hallelujah. Those demons, battered, ugly. They care. <laughs> you know the way demons are, they don't look good. They are, very, they are always ugly. They came. They said, we are coming here to suck the blood. And there's a man of God in that scene. He said, you want to suck the blood? He said, there's no problem. I will bring the people for you. And he came out and he said, you want to suck the blood? And he gave them the blood of Jesus. All of them, they ran away. Today, obtain your victory through the blood. Through the blood of Jesus, obtain your total victory. Obtain your deliverance. Obtain your breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 says, And they overcame me by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. 
And they did not love their own lives to death. Who did they overcome? The devil and his angel. So, the weapon of our victory is the blood. Somebody shout, blood of Jesus. Shout the blood of Jesus. The hell is in confusion now. Hallelujah. The third law is the revelation of the name of Jesus. Revelation of the name of Jesus. Don't just call the name of Jesus. Call it with understanding, with revelation. Hallelujah. One of the encounters that I had overnight between Friday to Saturday. Listen to this. I'm going to give you a prayer point now. I started my prayer around 12 midnight. I worshipped God for one hour. Good one hour. Then I started blasting in tongues. Hallelujah. I will begin to pray in tongues. For, for the next one hour, I begin to get tired. Then I now lie down on my bed. But I was still speaking in tongues. So what happened to me? My spirit come out, come out of my body. I saw, it was very clear. My spirit came out of my body. Amen? And my spirit took me to where two men are. Two men. I saw those two men. And they are strange. I know we immediately within me that these are enemies. And I begin to rebook them, begin to rebook them. And all of a sudden, the first one fall and die. The second one fall and die. And after that, I use the name of Jesus. After that, my spirit, I was, <laughs> I've never experienced that in my life. I've never, never experienced that. My spirit now came back to me. And I continue praying. I continue praying. I continue praying. Then later when I finished praying, that was when I realized what happened to me. Stand up on your feet. I want you to take this prayer. Hallelujah. Please, quickly turn your Bible because God is about to kill somebody. But before we do that, I want to show you something because we are in Australia. They may not understand. But I want to establish it in the Bible. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. What did he say? He says, The Lord kills and make alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. That means God can kill. Hallelujah. Even in the book of Isaiah chapter 6, the Bible said, The day King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Now, let's go to the New Testament. In the book of Mark, Mark chapter, two, chapter 11, from verse 14 to 21. There was one time Jesus Christ was hungry and he saw a fig tree. <laughs> he saw a fig tree looking for something to eat, looking for fruit, and there was no fruit. What did the Bible say? The Bible says, the Bible told us that Jesus Christ caused that tree. That from today, no man eat from you. Go to verse 21 of that scripture. 14, 11, 21. Mark 11, 21. Look at what the, the disciples said. And Peter remembering and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you have cursed has withered away. That means that tree died. You are going to pray. Every evil personality that is troubling my head, that is troubling my family, that is troubling my career, troubling my ministry. Die! Pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible said the Lord kills and make a life. Those enemies that say you will not live, those enemies that say you will not get married, you will not have your own children, you will not fulfill your destiny, you will not be established, the Bible said the Lord kiss. Jesus Christ caused the fig tree and that fig tree died. That enemy in your family that is saying you say you will succeed in Australia. That evil man, that evil woman in your family. The Bible said the Lord kiss. 
every woman or woman in my family against me, even with this, this Australia, fall and die. I gain my victory today. Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sit down. I see them dying now. I see them dying now. The Bible said, the day King Guzaya died, I saw the Lord. Your victory is sure. Your glory will be seen. Die evil man in your family. Die evil man in your street. That evil man in your workplace. That mediums. That witches. That wizard against you. Dad now in Jesus' name. Yes. Revelation in the name of Jesus. That's the weapon of our war. Number four. The fourth weapon of our warfare is weapon of praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout Hallelujah. In Acts of Apostles chapter 16, 25 to 26, the Bible told us that Paul and Silas, they praised God. And this, there was earthquake. They used the weapon of praise. And there was earthquake. The Bible said they are chains loose. Everything that, was, that bound them was loose. Today, whatsoever that bind you, receive your victory over it. Bind your career, bind your marriage, bind your head, receive your freedom now. In the name of Jesus. The last, but not the least, which you are going to use this morning. The force of prayer. That's the last weapon of our victory. The force of prayer. Ah! If you cannot pray, you can't get to somewhere in life. If you don't know how to pray, it is prayer that brought me to where I am and the prayer will take me to where I'm going. Hallelujah! And that is why I don't want to receive nonsense in this Australia. Because everything around you in this Australia, all the comfort, all the prosperity, all the opportunities tell you that you don't need to pray against Sonny. I say, no, I will pray. He said, you don't need to fast, Sonny. I say, no, I will fast. My case is different. I am not anybody. Hallelujah! The force of prayer. When you live, when you, the way you pray will determine how your life will be. The art you will get on life is determined by prayer. You that you are always telling yourself, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to pray. You better teach yourself how to pray. Jesus Christ told the disciple, Pray! Can't you watch for one hour? As a believer, the least time you need to spend is one hour. You must know how to pray. You must know how to shabakatakarakoto payada. You must know how to fight in prayer. The Bible says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Your opponent never sleep. It is you that always sleep in the night. You need to wake up. There are some of your enemies from the village. They are still doing some things. Some of your enemies here too. They are still doing some things. But the only thing for you to overcome them is what? It's prayer. Because that is the weapon of our warfare. James chapter 5 verse 16. James chapter 5 verse 16. Thank you, Lord. James chapter 5, verse 16. Confess your stress back to one another and pray for one another. We do that every Tuesday in this church. That you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man or a woman does what? Availeth much. So your prayer has potency, your prayer has power. Don't tell me rubbish. 
that because I'm in Australia, I don't need to fast, I don't need to pray. You, that is your own belief. Me, I'm different. I know what he has told me. I know my calling. I know my assignments. Hallelujah! Face your calling. I face my calling. Everybody with his own. Shout hallelujah. But one thing is that I will see you at the top. The Bible says the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Is it not prayer that brought you to where you are? Why do you stop? Why do you compromise with the environment? Why are you telling me you don't need to pray? I believe the word. I believe in prayer. I believe in fasting. I am all around. I am not a quite shocker Christian. When you come to the word, I am there. When you come to praise, I am there. When you come to prayer, I am there. When you come to fasting, I am there. That is why I look at some men of God that they walk around out what I said. Look at their ministry. Look at their life. Shout hallelujah. So you must learn to pray. Don't allow the spirit in Australia to weaken your prayer life. And I want to tell you lastly, the more you pray, the more faster you fly. Look at where he has brought us. It's prayer. It's prayer. So we are ready to pray. Hallelujah. Are we ready to pray? Shall we arise? So you have seen those weapons. You have seen the keys. Today, your victory will not elude you. I say your victory will not elude you. For those of you that are watching me that have not given your life to Christ, quickly say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Make me to be your child. For last I say, Lord Jesus, I come back to you like a prodigal son. Now you are born again in Jesus' name. I pray for those that are giving their life to Christ and the backsliders. Father, save their souls. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Say, I'm ready to pray. Shall we all rise? It's time to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your two and say, Father, I thank you for your word this morning. Father, I thank you for sending me your word. My word of victory. Say, Father, I thank you for giving me, sending your word of victory to me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say after him. Say, Father. Say, Father. You that gave Israel a victory over Egyptians. And Pharaoh. Give me my total victory today. Father, you that gave Israel a victory over Egyptians and Pharaoh. Give me my total victory today. Cry to God. Cry to God, cry to God, cry to God. Father, you gave Israelites victory from the hands of Egyptians and Pharaoh. Father, give me my own total victory today. That's why I'm here. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't forget one of our weapons of victory is the name of Jesus. Say after me. In the name of Jesus. I gain total victory. Over powers of darkness. Tormenting my life. And my family. Pray. Pray. Rege de brogo de brogo sentele bosh. He pata kata baya da kasekete. Every powers of darkness tormenting me and my family and my ministry and my career. I gain total victory over you. Tormenting me in the spirits. Tormenting me physically. Tormenting my health. Tormenting my career. Tormenting my business. I gain total victory over you today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You powers of limitations, stagnation, disappointments, oppression, frustration. I get to have it over you today. Pray. Every powers 
of stagnation, of disappointment, of oppression, of frustration, of depression. I gave it over you from today. In the name of Jesus. Pray for your victory. Pray for your victory. Over stagnation. Over oppression, over frustration. In Jesus' name we pray. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I gain victory over all evil covenants, causes, working against my life. In the name of Jesus, pray. Ah, today in the name of Jesus, victory over causes, victory over evil covenant, working against my life. Working against my life. Limiting me. Shate kerebos. Deliverance, deliverance, deliverance now. Epakato koto pakate ketesh. Zato koto bregere bregesh. Higaragara gara bagashanda. Zate ke 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 ke. Every cause, every covenant you have entered into known and unknown from your father's side, from your mother's side. Working against your destiny, even while you're in Australia, victory, victory, kapata kata 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 ya, shekoto parike teke de, ah, in Jesus' name we pray. Brother, I want you to take this one. See, when I was preparing, this one, when I, there's a one that talk about miscarriage. Miscarriage does not really mean when you are pregnant. It may be business you are proposed. When you are about to do it, something just happened. It may be a relationship. You are proposed to somebody, somebody has proposed for you. Before you know it, at the end of Thor's wedding, everything scattered. Miscarriage. Business. Carry out so many things. You just carry it and something just destroys it. Today, victory. I said today, victory. Say after me. Every spirit of failure and miscarriage diverting my miracles. I gave victory over you today in the name of Jesus. Pray. Yes. 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 Failure. Miscarriage. Victory. 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 Every power diverting your miracles, diverting your blessings, diverting the promise of God concerning your life. Victory now. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone say back to sender. Say somebody back. Somebody say back to sender. You will pray. Every evil deposit that the enemy has put in my body that is troubling me weekly, that is troubling me monthly, in the name of Jesus, back to sender that cancer. The asthma, the diabetes, the infarct, deposited by the enemy, the nightmare, deposited by the enemy. Go back to the sender. Victory, 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 victory. Shaka kaka pakate. He brada da yado koso totosh. All the deposit that that doctor has diagnosed in you, that is not of God, that the enemy has put there, back to sender, back to sender. Shakele bragadu setelia, rekete keri kataka ruko sikete. In my brain, in my head, in my body, in my system, 
Anywhere I approach you. And I command you, go back to sender. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say after me. You long time problems in my life. There are some things they are there for many years. They are just there. Now you want to be you want to take them as normal. Today it's not normal. You are gaining victory over it. You long time problems in my life. In the name of Jesus, I gain victory over you. I gain victory over you. Pray that continually problem in your life. Receive your victory. Receive your victory now. Holy Ghost is moving. Deliverance is taking place. Healing is taking place. God is touching life. God is setting people free. The power of God is going on. Shaka shakata. God of victory is at work. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. I told you why we are ministering that. You need victory over yourself. And it is yourself that is leading you to sin. See after me. You works of flesh. Leading me to sin. I gave victory over you now. I gave victory over you now. Pray the prayer of your deliverance. Oh yeah. Deliver. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered. Over every work of flesh. Be delivered. Gain victory over immorality, over lying, over cheating, over evil plans, over hatred, over jealousy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say after me. Some of those sickness that doctors have diagnosed diagnose, is not normal. It's not normal. That cancer is not normal. That blood, blood pressure is not normal. That asthma is not normal. That barrenness is not normal. That, that tumor is not normal. Today, you are gaining victory. Today, you are gaining victory. As you pray this prayer with all your heart. Say, every form of sickness and disease in my life, I gain victory over you. Pray! Give victory now. Give victory over that cancer, over that sickness. I swear that I watch him that I, that I have cancer, that I have disease, that I have diabetes. Be healed now. Be healed now. Victory over every form of sickness under the sound of my voice. Ragagagagada tumor receive victory over it now. It disappear now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Say after me. Every powers. Don't forget. We rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Every powers in Australia. Contending with my spiritual growth. Let me tell you, there are forces in Australia what they are after. They don't care whether you have money. They don't care whether you buy mortgages. But they, they care if your spiritual life is alive. You pray. Every powers in Australia in Victoria in Melbourne contending with my spiritual growth Today, in the name of Jesus, I gain victory over you. I gain victory over you. You cannot suppress me again. You cannot depress me not to fast, not to pray, not to read the word of God. Victory over those powers in our suburbs. Victory over those powers that say churches will not grow. In the name of Jesus. 
Shekete pata. Ebra de broto do brigirish. In Jesus name. We pray. Say every man. And woman. Ordained by God. To bless me. Wherever you are in the world. Locate me. I locate you. Locate me. I locate you. Within Australia. Outside Australia. Africa. Asia. In the name of Jesus. Pacific. Anywhere. That man. That woman. White. Or black. Caucasians. Wherever they are. I locate you. Will you look at me? Divine connection. Kaleboroso to yaba. Ibreketo bregadebush. Ibragade bregade bregadebush. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Father. Now that I have my victory, take me from glory to glory, from glory to glory, from today. Pray! Father, now that I have my victory over myself, over Satan, over evil ones. Take me. Take your children. Take your church. From glory to glory. My heart, my career, my businesses. Zebra de brogo do brogo santo lebros. Hiragada bagazanta la braga de bosh. Hirobo bo 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 bos. Hiragada gada baragada braga de braga de braga de braga de bosh. In Jesus name. After that, hours of liberty in the month of July. Somebody testified. That as I walk around within the church without touching anybody, the person says something jump out of his life. Today, I'm not going to walk around. I follow instructions. I just want you to stretch your hand towards me. Kapalebo siketike. Zateketekere, stretch your hand towards me. As you are looking at me, you're from your house. As you are looking at me from here, stretch your hands and begin to picture your victory. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, the hour has come. Move now, move now, move now, move now. Holy Ghost! Move. In your power, move in your glory. Move in your awesomeness. And let your children begin to have their total victory. Total victory over Satan. Over sickness. Over disease. Over failure. Over causes. Over evil covenants. Over limitation. Over depression. Receive it now. Kete kali kusutori bragades. I decree over your lives. Receive your victory now. Ah, every power that has been suppressing you. Every power that has been oppressing you. Every power that has been frustrating you. Today, receive your victory now. Patakato kota likata. 
Lebru sutili kayi karika turi basentelia. Every power that has been causing failure. Every power that has been causing miscarriage. Today, obtain your victory over them now. Ah, my father, my God. That sickness, that disease, that infirmity, troubling you weekly, troubling you monthly, troubling you yearly, in the name of Jesus that is above every other name, receive your victory over them now. Hey! Hey! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! That disease, that sickness, that doctor has con condemned, that there's no solution. Kali kukuku si katakaria, empata kali kotoparia, receive solution by victory now. Receive your healing now. Receive your deliverance now. Over the power limiting you even while you are in Australia. Over the power limiting you while you are in Australia. <laughs> the Bible says the Lord keeps. The Bible said, Jesus caused the fig tree. And the fig tree died. Every power in Australia and beyond, limiting your potential, limiting your glory, limiting your purpose, say you will not be what God wanted to be in this nation. I command them, die, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hey, Jekata la gada 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 gada. I saw something now. Mashanta kata de kete kete pregedoska. Le brogo do brogo sonto le bregedos. God of divine connection. Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes to the east. Go up a year. From when down my hair will come. My hair will come from God. I decree and I declare. Now that you have your victory. I pass on your destiny. In Asia. In Pacific. In Africa. All over the world. Within Melbourne, outside Melbourne, within Australia, outside Australia, look at you now. Look at you now. Thank you, Father. For the ministers of God watching me. Outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive it now. In that your ministry. From this day I prophesy. You begin to operate in unusual. In that your ministry. I prophesy. You begin to walk in the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. Through you, nations will be delivered. Through you, states will be delivered. Through you, men and women will be delivered. You shall be a vessel in the, in, in the hand of God in the name of Jesus. Your victory is sure. Your glory is revealed. Your glory is revealed. In the name of Jesus. Give him thanks. Let's bless him. Let's bless him. Ah! A lot is happening in the realm of this. Give him praise. 
Holy Ghost. How sweet you are. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for healings. Thank you for breakthroughs. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for a new beginning. Thank you for all and victory. Thank you for the new wave of glory. I bless you for touching your children. Touching everybody. Under the sound of my voice. And those that we watch later. Holy Ghost, thank you. For total victory. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' name. We pray. If you are blessed, put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. You may be seated. Are you blessed already? Let's give our tithes, our offering, and any special giving we want to give to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless the Lord with your offering. Let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your, our offering.